Ahoy there, well watcher. My name is Wifey Will, but you may call me Wifey, and today we are back playing some more of Fallout 4. Last episode, we explored Diamond City, we learned about the synthetic truth, and we met Piper, and um, what she wrote about in the papers has me extremely intrigued, so we are going to go ahead and speak to Piper right now. Hello, Piper. Blue. Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look. Thank you, boys. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Um, what's involved? What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions. And see. What do you say? Sure, but do I have to admit I'm a time traveler? They're going to think I'm a synth. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Short. Ooh, should we be honest? Um, let's be honest, because otherwise what's the point in doing it? We were frozen, we were we were human popsicles. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The war. Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Oh, well, yes, I did. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Um, it sucks. You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other, and... Oh, my God, the smell. Okay. Well, it's gonna be a fun one to cloak. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? I don't feel comfortable saying who I'm looking for because I don't know for some reason I just feel very suspicious of not necessarily Piper but of people finding out who I'm looking for I'll just say a family member I lost family okay I'm trying to get one of them back what's their name Blue? who are they uh what's it matter why do you care this is news no one else in Diamond City may care about the missing, but my paper does. <sighs> I mean, they do think that people have been getting snatched in the middle of the night. I think, was it the Institute? Is that what it was called? You're standing there with your jaw hanging out. Say something. Well, listen, Miss Piper, I'm weighing my options. I'm worried that if I say Sean specifically, it could put Sean in danger. I feel like if I don't say Sean specifically, then the interview is almost pointless. Sean doesn't know he's getting looked for. I'm still not sure when Sean was taken. I don't know if he was taken shortly after we were frozen or right before I was thawed. And I don't know if you know, I don't necessarily want to know because I'm having fun asking questions right now. I'm just gonna say Sean. And I'll hope that whoever took him didn't know his name. My baby Sean was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me. 
Do you suspect the Institute's involved? Now I do. Uh, I'll go ahead and ask her about the Institute just to get a refresher of it. The Institute? Who are they? That blue is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Since synthetic people sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not every Well, now I'm worried you're a synth. The Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. It's possible. Oh, yeah, go ahead and tell me about the synths. The synths. <laughs> uh, I can't say it. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point. I wonder if I'll run into one. A plastic, plastic enemy. smiles and guilty glances just like a good old-fashioned human so do you think you could be involved the institute or one of their agents mm, they might be who knows sure sounds like they might be not even a baby is safe from them <laughs> and people wonder why i can't just look the other way for the last part of our interview i'd like to do something different i want you to make a statement to diamond city directly the threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the wants to pretend that this doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Get revenge. Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Piper is available to be your companion. Ooh, did you guys see that really shitty look from Preston, though? He's like, you better not break up with me for Piper. Don't worry, I'm not. You're not going anywhere. Hi, Nat. Hey, Nat. I'm not trying to stop the press. Me? I'm very successful. Alright, so it says I leveled up and I remember gun nut. Gun nut, gun nut. Uh, I don't see a gun. Oh, that's rifleman. Oh, gunslinger. Commando sneak gun nut. Uh, requires an intelligence three, and luckily I barely have intelligence three. Let's get that. Look at those eyes. It's like a Scooby Doo or something, like Tom and Jerry. Okay. To kill us, but... Do you have anything else to talk to me about, though? I don't want you coming hey, with, but uh, never mind. You know what? Never mind. Dang, she glared at me too. Uh, so is that the only paper in here? Oh, they're they're uh, they're taking they're drinking dirty water. They've got some rat away. She has a few toys. I'll let you move out of the way. Oh, oh no, I made a mess. Bobby pen box. She didn't care, right? Piper's terminal. Let's see what kind of research is on here. Um, so is this the same? Okay, it is. Don't need to read that. Reader complaints file might be interesting. Honor the wall. 
In your most recent edition, your paper failed to acknowledge in any way the contribution of the mighty wall in the defense of our town against last month's super mutant attacks. I find this extremely offensive and will not be purchasing another copy until such disrespect is uh, publicly corrected. Published response. We honor the efforts of all those involved in the defense of our great city, from our valiant guards to the mighty wall. Personal response. Dear Whack Job, two members of Diamond City Security died defending this town. Happy story. I find choice of topics sad. How about happy story? Maybe something about nice bar. Published response. Thank you for your feedback. Our stories are selected for relevance and importance to the Diamond City populace. Personal response. Madam, no story about your bar is going to end happily. And the last one, for shame. Your paper is just trying to drum up fears about sense to increase sales. You should be ashamed of yourself. Published response says, thank you for your concern. Our paper makes significant efforts to ensure all our stories are accurate and free from editorializing. A personal response, thank you for your concern. I hope you get snatched. Piper. Piper. That's not very appropriate. So I'm free to steal your stuff, but I am not allowed to sleep in your bed. Got it. Why are y'all watching me? Boston Bugle. Um, I wonder if we'll need this gas canister. All right. Well, that ended up being extremely short with Piper. I guess I was expecting to be stuck talking to her like the entire episode. What? Your voices. Oh. Oh. Don't move. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family. Put the gun down now. He's a sin. He'll kill us all. <gasps> Kyle, no. Okay, show's over. There are no sins in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Oh my god. Oh, you're rude. Oh, you just kicked his... Oh, that's his gun. thought you kicked his arm or something. Wow, the guard, um... Interestingly, interestingly shot the guy with the gun, not the guy accused of being a synth. Is that just because this guy was the one being hostile? Or is it because this guy is a synth? F you. And, oh... What happened? I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machine. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Go. Oops, I didn't mean to move the body. Uh, I know, right? Riley. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. Uh, what happened? What happened? I'm not a synth. I told him. I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh, I need him. Maybe you are a synth. I mean, how would I know? How was I moving your body? There we go. Is this guy a synth? A synth calling someone a synth? Is this helping you heal? Here, I'll fix it. Carl's not dead. Uh. Hold on, I'll fix it. Jesus. I can't. You can't what? I'm fixing it. Maybe. I'm trying to put his butt in the stool. 
Not working. Okay, I've got them raised. It's kind of upside down. Oh no, he's making a mess. <laughs> okay, almost. Almost. I'm giving you a minute to heal, buddy. You should be grateful. Okay, he sat kind of. Now I just need to tur turn him. See? Kyle is fine. Uh, he's just getting some ramen. He's not into a bunch of chunkies. This this isn't a thing. Don't worry about it. Um, see? He's fine. Hey, Jesus. You're still not recovered. <laughs> Preston's unbothered. He's like, oh, I've seen this stuff all the time. Here, Preston, let me add a special ingredient. Oh, no. Doesn't want it. Preston, what do you think of all that? I'm just wondering what you think about what just happened. You're just not going to talk to me about anything else, huh? Okay. Should I try talking to another guard? Maybe that's it. Maybe. Maybe that's. Maybe it's just showing that people are suspicious. Hey. Did you see what happened? Do you have different hair? What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Easier just to show you. Get an empty chair right here. All right. Sounds good. Just sit down, relax, and let the magic happen. Are they any different though than the hairs offered at the beginning of the game? Is there purple, green, blue? Red, red, but <gasps> purple. When did they add this? Because last I looked, they did not have purple. Like, I looked it up online, and it was like, if you want purple hair, you gotta mod it. Ooh, my hair is more like this, though, than this. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so my hair is curly um not like super tight curls but it can be um but my hair is like down to the middle of my back i don't really i don't think it's gonna get any longer than shoulder length i can't ah uh, okay Are the hairstyles all the same as the beginning? These like the boy-ish cuts. What is that? Dang it, stay there. Oh, I think I can click. And then... Huh. I don't like it, but I don't remember that being one. Okay. Mm, I think we might have to just keep elegant. It's the one that matches my hairstyle the most.
All right, that's happy. What do you do, Kathy? Some sense into my net worth son. McDonald's secretary, is she a sin? Probably. What? Hmm? You know what a synth is, right? Those machine people the Institute makes? Looks and acts just like the real thing? Only I think they made Geneva a little too perfect. No woman looks like she does. Oh, perky. So she's a sim, right? She has to be. Yeah, she has to be. Oh, wait. Tell me about the Institute first. Back up. What's the Institute? Oh, my God. Really? What hole did they drag you out of, Southie? The Institute are the ones who kidnap people, replace them with synths. Not that McDonough would ever admit it. Papers write about him. Are you going to answer my question? Geneva, is she a synth? Hell yes, yeah, she's a synth. Oh, she's a synth, definitely. Finally, somebody with some sense. You seriously? gonna take the opinion of some random stranger over your own son if someone off the street can tell geneva is one of those machine people then so should you you just said no one could tell the difference huh now will you leave my customers alone johnny's mad oh no he's fine i want to meet this perky geneva where is mayor mcdonald's house Preston, no. Preston. <laughs> Preston. You've got Kyle literally sitting on your lap, Preston. Oh, I'm jealous. I know I couldn't come to terms with it either, especially with my, my brother uh, dating someone else's husband. It's terrible. You're breaking up my family, Kyle. Alright. Um, so, where the heck? Diamond City Surplus. You think there... Mayor McDonald would be somewhere. Because let's go around this way. Um, there's the detective agency. I definitely want to talk to him as well at some point. Huh? Oh, it's you. You scared me. Preston, where do you think the mayor lives? Oh, he, he is. I sit with you. Sup. Everybody, everybody, I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless 
left the wall. He's so full of shit. Mm hmm. He is. And if you heard a noise, I don't know if you guys could hear it. At the end of his speech, some Amish people went by, and their horses clopping is always very loud, so that's what that was. Oh, we even keep the wall painted green. Working hard. Don't touch the paint. Oh, I'm touching it. <coughs> Why? What? Why? This is the wall. The great green guardian that keeps out the bad guys. Uh, no one's broken through the wall. Never. The least we can do for her in return is keep her looking for steam. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? You know what? Fine. I like you. Happy to help out. You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? That sounds good. Ask for money. Uh, I, I I like him. I don't know. I, I like him. I don't wanna. I don't wanna take advantage of him. Tell me about the Hardware Town. What can you tell me about Hardware Town? Raiders moved in a ways back. Security says they can't handle it. That's why I'm running low. Uh. Oh, you still up for it? Uh. uh I guess. Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. You're welcome, Abbott. We're painting the roses green. Anyone else have an obsession with Alice in Wonderland as a child? I used to watch that movie every single week. Every time my great grandmother asked me, What movie do you want to watch? I went over and I picked out Disney's Alice in Wonderland and watched it. Love that movie. Alright, well, you're gonna have to get paint. We gotta figure out where. The mayor's house is still. We need to see if Kyle and uh, what was his name? Miles? Kyle and Mile? He's still just standing here. Riley. Okay, that's what his name was. Uh, I don't know. And the guards are still. Maybe if I just leave and go in somewhere, come back out, like he'll be gone. Let me see kind of curious now. I'm surprised Piper didn't come out to investigate the shooting. I mean, that's something I'd be writing about in the paper unless this happens every dang day in Diamond City. Ah, yeah. So it was literally just, we gotta wait for him. Oh, even his chunky left. Okay. I can't pick that up for you because it'll probably count as me stealing it so let me just oops i tried to make it closer and i don't know where it went i'm sorry um oh is that it anyway i'm totally distracted this episode i'm sorry guys i'm just having so much fun playing the game and i'm especially happy i've got my purple hair it's all i ever wanted in life was my purple hair um, I'm gonna go for now. As always, I hope that you enjoyed. I appreciate you being a well watcher and I will see you again very soon. Bye!